Hey there, Crash Course viewers, welcome back to another episode where we tackle some of the most pressing issues of our time. Today, we're diving into a topic that's kind of scary, but super important phone addiction. It's something that affects almost everyone in some way, whether we realize it or not. You know that thing where you can't seem to put your phone down? It's like our phones have become an extension of our hands. Turns out, it's a much bigger deal than you might think. The constant need to check our phones can lead to some serious consequences. Get this studies show that over 60% of people admit to being addicted to their phones. That's a staggering number when you think about it. That's right, over half of us are hooked. And it's not just about the time we spend on our phones, but how it affects our lives. We're constantly checking our notifications, scrolling through social media, and feeling that little buzz of dopamine with every like and comment. It's designed to keep us coming back for more. But here's the thing, this constant connection comes at a cost. It can lead to anxiety, stress, and even depression. It's time to face the music, people. We need to acknowledge the impact our phone use has on our lives and take steps to address it. Our phones are affecting our physical and mental well-being and not in a good way. From eye strain and neck pain to sleep disturbances and reduced attention spans, the effects are far-reaching. So buckle up as we explore the dark side of the digital world and discover how to break free from the clutches of phone addiction. Let's go! One of the first steps to overcoming phone addiction is to set boundaries. Try setting your phone to do not disturb mode during certain times of the day or turning off non-essential notifications. Engage in activities that don't involve your phone. Spend time outdoors, pick up a new hobby, or simply enjoy the company of friends and family without the constant distraction of your device. Reading a book, meditating, or practicing mindfulness can also help you break the cycle of constant phone use. These activities can provide a much needed break for your mind and body. There are also apps available that can help you monitor and limit your phone usage. Setting screen time limits can be a great way to ensure you're not spending too much time on your device. Reflect on your phone usage and consider how it impacts your life. Keeping a journal can help you track your habits and identify patterns that you may want to change. Remember, the goal is not to completely eliminate phone use, but to find a healthy balance. By being mindful of how and when you use your phone, you can reclaim your time and improve your overall well-being. Celebrate your progress no matter how small. Every step you take towards reducing phone addiction is a step towards a healthier, more balanced life. Thanks for joining us on this journey to understand and combat phone addiction. Stay tuned for more episodes where we tackle other important topics. Until next time, take care and stay mindful. Okay, so we know a lot of us are glued to our phones, but is it really that bad? In a word, yes. This isn't just about wasting time, it's about our health. Phone addiction can lead to some serious physical problems. We're talking eye strain, headaches, neck pain, and even insomnia. All that time spent hunched over a screen is wreaking havoc on our bodies. And it's not just our physical health that's suffering. Our mental health is taking a hit too. Phone addiction is linked to increased anxiety, depression, and even loneliness. Ironic, right? We're more connected than ever, yet we're feeling more isolated. So, how do you know if you're addicted to your phone? It's a question many of us might not want to face, but it's crucial to understand. It's not always obvious, but there are some telltale signs. These signs can creep up on you slowly, making it hard to recognize the problem until it's deeply ingrained in your daily routine. Phone addiction, also known as nomophobia, fear of being without your phone, is a behavioral addiction characterized by an excessive and unhealthy attachment to your smartphone. This attachment can interfere with your daily life, relationships, and even your mental health. It's like any other addiction. It takes over your life. You might find yourself constantly thinking about your phone, even when you're supposed to be focusing on other tasks, and you feel lost without it. This feeling of being lost can be overwhelming, leading to anxiety and stress when you're separated from your device. Some common symptoms include feeling anxious or restless when you're away from your phone, which can manifest as physical symptoms like fidgeting or an inability to concentrate on other activities. Constantly checking your phone even when there are no notifications. This behavior can become compulsive, making it hard to break the cycle of checking and rechecking your device and using your phone as a way to escape from reality or avoid difficult emotions. 
This can lead to a reliance on your phone for comfort, which can be detrimental to your emotional well-being. Sound familiar? It's time to get real with ourselves and admit if we have a problem. Self-reflection is key to understanding the extent of your phone usage and its impact on your life. Recognizing the addiction is the first step to recovery. Once you acknowledge the problem, you can start taking steps to reduce your phone usage and regain control over your life. This might involve setting boundaries, seeking support from friends and family, or even professional help if needed. Setting specific times for phone use, engaging in hobbies that don't involve screens, and being mindful of your phone habits can all help in breaking the cycle of addiction. Remember, it's about finding a balance that works for you. Spending quality time with loved ones and enjoying activities that don't involve your phone can also be incredibly beneficial. It's about reconnecting with the world around you and finding joy in the present moment. Imagine the freedom of not being tied to your phone, the liberation of living in the moment without the constant need to check your device. It's a journey worth taking and it starts with recognizing the problem and making a conscious effort to change. Embrace the journey towards a healthier relationship with your phone. It's not about completely eliminating phone use, but about creating a balanced and mindful approach that enhances your life rather than controls it. Celebrate the small victories along the way and remember that every step towards reducing phone addiction is a step towards a more fulfilling and present life. You have the power to take control and make positive changes. Stay hopeful and determined. Overcoming phone addiction is a challenge, but with persistence and support, you can achieve a healthier, more balanced relationship with your phone. It's time to take the first step and reclaim your life. Hash hash section 4, the psychological toll, anxiety, loneliness, and more. Let's talk about the mental impact of phone addiction. Remember that dopamine rush I mentioned earlier? Well, it's messing with our brains. Every time we get a notification or a like on social media, our brain releases dopamine, the feel-good hormone. This creates a cycle of craving and reward, making it hard to put the phone down. But here's the catch. The more time we spend on our phones, the more we compare ourselves to others, leading to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and even depression. And since we're so busy connecting online, we're neglecting our real-life relationships which can lead to loneliness and isolation. It's a vicious cycle and it's time to break free. Hash, hash section five. Shocking stats. You won't believe how much time we spend glued to our screens. Prepare to be shocked, people. The average person spends over four hours a day on their phone. That's like watching the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy every single day. Just think of all the other things you could be doing with that time. And it gets worse. Some studies show that teenagers spend an average of seven hours a day on screens, including phones, computers, and TVs. That's more time than they spend sleeping. All this screen time is having a serious impact on our sleep, our mood, and even our physical health. It's time to face the facts. We're addicted, and it's time to do something about it. Hash hash section six rewiring the brain, the physical effects of phone addiction. Remember how I said that phone addiction messes with our brains? Well, it's not just a figure of speech. The impact is real and measurable. Studies have shown that excessive phone use can actually lead to changes in brain structure and function. This isn't just about feeling distracted or having trouble focusing. It's about actual physical changes in the brain. For example, one study found that people who are addicted to their phones have less gray matter in the anterior cingulate cortex, a part of the brain involved in self-control and emotional regulation. This reduction in gray matter can make it harder for individuals to manage their impulses and emotions effectively. The anterior cingulate cortex is crucial for decision-making and emotional regulation. When this area is compromised, it can lead to a range of issues, from increased anxiety, to difficulty in making sound decisions. No wonder we can't seem to put our phones down. Another study found that smartphone addiction is associated with imbalances in brain chemistry, particularly in the levels of dopamine and serotonin, two neurotransmitters that play a key role in mood, motivation, and reward. These chemical imbalances can lead to mood swings, depression, and even addiction to other substances or behaviors. Dopamine is often referred to as the feel-good 
neurotransmitter because it plays a significant role in how we experience pleasure. When we receive a notification or a like on social media, our brain releases a small amount of dopamine, making us feel good. Over time, we start to crave this feeling, leading to addictive behaviors. Serotonin, on the other hand, helps regulate mood and social behavior. Imbalances in serotonin levels can lead to feelings of depression and anxiety, so yeah, phone addiction is literally changing our brains. Scary, right? But understanding these changes is the first step towards addressing the problem. It's important to recognize the signs of phone addiction and take proactive steps to mitigate its effects. This could involve setting specific times for phone use, engaging in activities that don't involve screens, or even seeking professional help if necessary. Activities like meditation, spending time outdoors, and connecting with loved ones can help restore balance and improve mental well-being. By being mindful of our phone usage, we can start to reclaim control over our lives and our brains. Simple actions like setting your phone to do not disturb mode or turning off non-essential notifications can make a big difference. These small changes can help reduce the constant barrage of stimuli that our brains are exposed to, allowing us to focus better and feel less overwhelmed. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating phone use, but about finding a healthy balance. Engaging in hobbies, reading a book, or spending quality time with family can provide the mental break we need from our screens. Ultimately, the goal is to create a lifestyle that supports mental and emotional well-being. By understanding the physical effects of phone addiction, we can take steps to protect our brains and improve our overall quality of life.